Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> so as you can see on the screen, I have two very, very precious babies with me today. Um, oh my gosh, so precious. Um, so for those of you who are new um, to the Country Cottage, I'm going to introduce you to them and tell you a little bit about them. Um, and actually, most of you have only seen um, this little girl's box opening. I have not done uh, a details video or a name, um, you know, disclosed her name or any of that kind of stuff. So, um, so I might be repeating myself on some things and, um, and, you know, introducing some new information. So on the screen, I have got my beautiful Esme, um, and I have my new cottage elf, uh, baby girl that arrived from Amazon a couple of days ago. And if you did not see her box opening, um, go back and have a look at that box opening. Um, you know, of course, it's always a wild card when you order a replica baby because some companies do a absolutely spectacular job and other companies, eh, not so much. Um, but uh, you know what? I have told you guys this um, in the past and I will tell you again um, that not all replica companies are created equally. Um... I have had really good luck with MPK. Um, this little girl was from MPK and this little girl is from Wham Doll. And both of those companies, clearly I've had very good luck with um, because these two I think are just stunning. Um, and certainly their price point was, you know, you can't, <laughs> I mean, you, you cannot argue um, with the price point of these dolls because um, now you guys know me I'm never happy with you know when I get a manufactured doll I mean that doll's gonna get a new body a new poly a new weighting probably new eyes new lashes <laughs> you know I tend to like to tweak my manufactured dolls quite a bit um, but um, I actually with this new little one there's actually, she's so well done that there is actually little I want to do with her. Um, and, uh, and she has a very interesting story, you guys, that I'm very excited to share with you. A very interesting story. Um, but I also want to show you what Esme is wearing today because, oh my gosh, she's, she's scrumptious. She's so scrumptious. Anyway, I'm going to sit down on the bed and I'm, we're going to just, I'm just going to, we're going to have a little chat. I'm going to finish dressing my um, little baby house elf, my cottage elf. So grab yourself a cold drink, flop down on a comfy chair. I have got iced coffee today and mm, it's yummy. So... Okay, for those of you who are new to the cottage, well, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so, so glad you're here. Um, this baby girl, so the, both of these dolls are replicas of original sculpts. This is my very first replica. Um, and she is the Tobias sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. And, um, her and I have had some, we've had some experiences together. I had purchased her a wig and I tried a wig on her for a while and you can go back and watch uh, that video. Um, and, but I honestly, I missed her as a baldy. Um, I, I, I love a bald baby. I'm just, I admit it. Um, but she has had, um, oh my gosh. She has got um, cornflower blue Ico eyes. And if you are interested in getting really, really high quality, really reasonable eyes for your babies, um, these polyglass eyes from Ico, and you can find them at Dolls by Sandy. 
um, online. She has a, you know, a, she has a page. Um, she has a um, online page. And um, the ones she's wearing are cornflower blue. I started out with baby blue. Um, I think they were called ba uh, newborn blue, I think they were called. And they were beautiful. I really like them. But I have always had a thing for these cornflower blue eyes. She's also wearing uh, wispy brown lashes that I also got at Dolls by Sandy. And I'm just going to move this little sweet hums. This little sweetums. Oh my gosh, look at you. <laughs> you guys, I honestly, I I keep kissing the top of her head because look at her head. I'm like, look at the top of her head. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Esme first because um, for those of you who are new, you may not know the story of Esme. Um, so yes, she has had um, some tweaking. She is on a, um, what do you call it? She is on a McPherson's body. Um, I have, you know, weighted her with glass beads and um, super soft polyfill. She's on a beautiful McPherson's body. Um, she came disassembled and, um, you know, and I, I and but pre, but painted um, with some like I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to judge because some people do like these eyes, but it's a color that um, Wham Doll puts out that's, it's kind of a teal green. I'm not a fan. It doesn't look realistic to me and eyes are a really big thing to me. Um, I prefer German glass eyes, um, but if I can't get those, then Ico it would be a very, very close second. A very close second and I'll just I'll just hold her up here um, and show you these eyes oh my, they are so so realistic like they actually have depth to them and she has uh, by a uh, dolls by Sandy very fine baby brown lashes and you know what honestly you guys I mean she's a replica clearly uh, well not clearly actually um, you know, I've done some glossing to her lips and her nose with Aileen's Paper Glaze, which you can purchase um, on um, McPherson's. I have had a shocking amount of people um, say to me, who painted your um, Esme? <laughs> now, isn't that shocking? Um... Yes, you know, with just the tweaking and what I have done um, to, to her, I'll just tell you again, um, she's got a McPherson's body, dull suede body, um, you know, a brand new McPherson's dull suede body. Um, she has full limbs, um, so she's not, is she on a jointed body? I don't think she, oh yeah, I guess she's on a jointed full limb body. Um, I have glossed uh, inside her nostrils, the corners of her eyes. I've glossed her lips with Aliens Paper Glaze. I didn't do the inside of her ears just because she's an older baby. Um, you know, she's more of a, you know, five, six month old baby in my opinion. Um, and, uh, and then of course she's got these amazing eye co eyes uh, and baby brown lashes. Um, she had, uh, you know, a lash, lashes applied when she came from Wham Doll. I got her on um, Wish and she did have, but they were kind of those spider webby ones that are not spider webs, spider leg eyelashes um, that I am not a fan of. They're, you know, too thick, too, yeah, I just, I'm not a fan. I, you know, I like the wispy natural baby brown lashes. So she got new eyes, new lashes. Um, and I'm just trying to think if I did anything else with her. Of course, she's filled with glass beads, um, you know, in her limbs as you would, you know, uh, re you know, regular reborn. And she did have a wig for a time, but it just, it wasn't my jam. I just couldn't, I just couldn't get into it. Um, but I, the attachment that I feel for Esme, um, is the same, love and attachment that I feel for um 
you know, her sisters who are, you know, high end um, dolls, uh, you know, from from high end artists, high end sculpts. Um, it's there's no difference. Like I feel as um, I'm just wondering, did I pierce your ears? Did we pierce your ears? I can't remember. Um, I think I might have pierced her ears. Uh, anyway, she's beautiful. I love her. Um, but I have had a lot of comments, um, when I have posted her on, um, you know, reborn, um, replica friendly Facebook groups and they do exist. I myself, um, started one some years ago and, uh, it's, you know, primarily for, uh, YouTubers and, um, I mean, a lot of the, the members of my group are YouTubers, but, you know, if you're interested in joining a, a group of um, ladies that are sisterhood, um, not just a group where, you know, you go and post pictures and maybe one or two people comment, we support each other. And we support each other through, you know, illnesses, loss of parents, loss of pets. Um, yeah, we are a sisterhood. Um, our group is small because we're particular about who we take. And, um, and we love on each other's babies. And it doesn't matter if they are, um, you know, $30,000 Claire Taylor silicones or they are um, $50 uh, replica babies uh, like Esme here. Anyway, I have had quite a few people comment in my replica friendly Facebook groups, um, who is her artist? And I mean, I always respond, of course, that her sculptor was Laura Lee Eagles, but she, you know, she's a manufactured doll. She was painted on a assembly line, but honestly, and I was talking to my friend Bren about this the other day from my We Reborns Cradle. Um, of course, you guys all know who Bren is. Um, she's like one of the OG creators and she's one of my besties, my dolly besties. Um, we were talking the other day about the fact that replicas are getting so good. You know, the, the painting quality of replicas is getting so good as time progresses that sometimes people will post a baby in my, you know, my Facebook group. Um, and I honestly don't know. Like, I am studying that baby carefully trying to figure out whether is it a replica or is it you know somebody uh, from reborns.com you know maybe not somebody who's a master artist but um you know somebody that's a uh you know a, a decent painter um that often happens you know with these dolls i mean i'm just going to show you esme's fingernails like Personally, I think those are pretty darn good. I think those are pretty darn good. I look at her eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to just I'm hoping this is going to show up. But she has veining in her head. One of the reasons why I didn't want to keep her wig cuz I she's got really really nice veining in her head. I mean, the thing is, um, from what I understand, the research that I've done is that these companies that are producing these dolls have an assembly line. They are being hand painted to a certain extent, but they're being hand painted on an assembly line. So one, you know, one um, individual is painting the eyebrows and they are doing that all darn day. <laughs> <laughs> over and over and over and over again. Um, so they've gotten really, really good at eyebrows. Really natural, good, you know, looking eyebrows. Someone is only doing veining. Can you guys see that vein in her head? I'm literally going to just bring the tripod down. Because she has this vein in the side of her head. And it's so... It's so well done, you guys, that it literally looks like, oh, sorry, um, like, 
Can you guys see that? It literally, you know, looks done by an artist. Now, it was probably done on an assembly line by somebody who's literally painting veins all day long, every day in this factory, and they've gotten really darn good at it. So, <laughs> like I said, I have posted Esme, and I mean, I she's had a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of extra special, um, I call it a mini remorning, um, which any one of us can do, you know, if, if you're so inclined to, you know, tweak your replica a little bit, you know, if you want a little more realism, like, you know, if you want to put in Ico eyes or lashes, I mean, those things are not hard to do. I mean, they're not like so easy, but you sit down at your kitchen table and you get the right supplies like Dolls by Sandy, they have a glue that we ordered this last time um, that was the bomb. Um, actually, it's downstairs, but I'll show it to you guys um, on another video. Um, well, actually, you know what? I'll just stop this video and I'll run down and get it because honestly, it's a game changer for eyelashes, you guys. An absolute game changer. I'm back. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> um, anyway, we, my daughter and I, um, have done many, many eyelashes on Reborns and um, manufactured dolls over the years. And we have tried so many different glues. We ordered the special glue from McPherson's, lash glue from McPherson's. We, um, we've tried Gorilla Glue, Crazy Glue. Um, E6000, oh my gosh, we have had very poor luck, very poor luck with glues and eyelashes and getting glue on the eyeballs and oh my God. So this was what was recommended on the Dolls by Sandy website for lashes. And I've never seen this or heard of this. It must be an American thing. We don't have this in Canada as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this was a game changer. This stuff is the bomb. Like, honestly, this is so easy to use. And, I mean, her lashes, they're on there. They are on there. Anyway, um, <laughs> I started out by wanting to show you just how adorable Esme looks in her, um, in her vintage dress. Um, and then it turned into a whole different conversation. But, I mean, honestly, that really is interesting, don't you think? That I have people confuse Esme for a um, artist-painted, um, uh, you know, original uh, Tobias sculpt. I've had many people comment Oh, who, who, you know, who painted your Esme? And I'm like, uh, Wham Doll in China. Um, you know, and they're always very, very surprised. But then, you know, of course, I'm really quick to mention that, um, that, you know, I have done some tweaking. Um, you know, she has, you know, high quality polyglass eyes and baby brown lashes. And, you know, she's had her mother mouth glossed. But, I mean, all, honestly... You know, her nails, her creasing, her veining, that was all done, you know, in a factory in China. So, you know, like Bren and I were saying, like, it's, these dolls are, they're only just getting better, honestly. Um, if, you, you know, I have, I, you know, sort of consider myself a mini reborner. And when I, when I say that, I, I'm referring to, um just, you know, l doing little touch-ups and stuff. Um, if you guys ever have a question about the products that I use, um, or, you know, you know, how I go about doing what I, I do to my dolls, you know, comment down below, or you can, you know, fire me off an email, and I'm, I'm always ha happy to help out my dolly friends and sisters, um, you know, with questions about that, because I know a lot of you do have manufactured dolls and have mentioned you would like to do, 
you know, maybe some more high quality eyes or lashes or whatever, but you're not really even sure where to start. So you guys, you're always welcome to, you know, shoot me off uh, on the email. Anyway, so we're going to get this little chunker monker. I weighted her really heavy, you guys. She is like a real chunk because I like that. I like a heavy baby. So we are going to put this little girl up because she is uh, the brand new. Oh, one of the chickens is mad. Um, she is the brand new um, girl on the block <laughs> and my second replica baby. And I could not be more pleased, you guys. I could not be more pleased. Um, she is absolutely precious. And, I, you know, I, I understand this is, you know, a blank kit that you can purchase and then send it to an artist and have it, you know, painted, rooted, whatever you choose. Um, I, I, I'm not sure what the name of the kit is. If you guys know the name of this kit, please let me know. Um, but uh, they have done a phenomenal job with the, you know, with the replica. I love the painting. I, I absolutely love the painting. I love the blushing. I love the creasing. I love how they did the nails. I'm just really pleased with this doll. Like I really, really am pleased. Um, so I should, I should introduce you. So I had mentioned in her box opening that she um, looked to be an older um, elf to me. Um, she didn't look like, you know, a young baby baby. And um, yeah, so I, as it turns out, discovered that she can talk. <laughs> she can talk. <laughs> I mean, in a very, very high pitched little voice. Um, but she, <laughs> she can talk. And, uh, and she tells me that she is five years old and that her name is Miss Poppy and that she, um, she comes from a very, very large family, a very large elf family. Um, and that she, you know, was the older sister. So she assisted with the babies, you know, quite a bit, you know, and caring for the other babies and children in her family. So she has um, expressed interest in helping out um, here at the Country Cottage Nursery. And we're so thrilled because, oh gosh, you guys, I could use the help. I could use the help. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting her dressed. Um, she's wearing this little onesie that I ordered off Amazon. Um, and it has got a little unicorn face on it. Um, and... Uh, Look at the skirt that comes with it. This is like hysterical, you guys. Oh, I just got to fix it. It's got a tulle skirt. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Look at it. So she's, um, Miss Poppy has told me that she is very into fashion. She really, really enjoys fashion. So, um, yeah. She's, um, you know, she said she's willing to help out with the babies, you know, as, as much as I, I, I would like. All she asks, <clears throat> excuse me, is that she has a very, very, um, large wardrobe, which, I, you know, my goodness gracious, I'm only too happy to, oops, sorry, sweetheart. Um, I'm only too happy to, um, provide her with a, a very extensive wardrobe. Um, because she wears um, the same clothing you would put on a 18-inch um, doll, like American Girl or Our Generation or My Life As, or like she's a really fun, um, you know, member of your nursery. I mean, everybody should have a house elf. And, uh, you know, she's got a lot of personality. And I'm just absolutely over the moon with how well she is painted. And um, I'm just going to hold her up for you guys to see. And I've mentioned this a million times. I have an obsession with eyes. If, if, if a doll does not have, you know, good quality eyes, I, I, I can't bond with them. 
but she has beautiful, beautiful acrylic eyes, like really nice quality. And the way they have done her lashes, um, I think are just amazing. You know, her lip color is lovely. Um, you know, the blushing in her beautiful ears is lovely. Um, she has nice little um, tipped fingernails. Um, you know, she's got nice blushing on the bottoms of her feet. She's really soft vinyl. She came on a dose weight type body. Look how cute, you guys. Look how cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I am just a sort of struggling with myself not to order another one. <laughs> Because wouldn't it be fun to have a boy, too? <laughs> she says, yes. <laughs> yes, Mommy, I would like a brother. I would like a brother. <laughs> Is that true, Miss Poppy? You would like a brother? Oh, my gosh. What have you done to me? <laughs> That's a whole other, you know, rabbit hole I'm going to end up going down. But... Anyway, Miss Poppy's here. She's going to help out. You know, um, elves at five years old are much more mature than human five-year-olds. And she has lots of baby experience. So that is just a wonderful thing. I'm going to get some assistance in the nursery from Miss Poppy. And, um, and I'm going to supply her with a very, very, very beautiful wardrobe. Um, she said she would like to have her own dog, so I'm going to have to start looking into that, um, getting her a little dog that is her size, um, and who knows, <laughs> maybe a chair, um, a bed, I mean, sky's the limit, she fits 18 inch, you know, um, things, so, I, you know, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, I mean, honestly we are. Anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on here at the cottage. I'm actually just finished chores and I am heading out to go thrifting. Yay! So I will take some footage of that um, to share with you guys all later. And um, yeah, as always, take care.